Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. So today we're gonna to talk about power and my rigs, what they're pulling, what Hive OS reports, and what it really is pulling from the wall. How much does it cost me? I got a little website that I use to check out my cost and just try to compare it and see what it really is coming to. So let's go ahead and hop over here and I'm gonna show you, this is gonna be a little surprising me for some people, but here it is. So uh, right now, what you do is on my power meter, it does show me in the kilowatts. It also shows me as the amps and the volts. So what I did for just argument's sake, on there it did say it was running at 3000 watts over here on hive it said it was running at 3042 so a difference of 42 watts but then what i did was to really find the true number you simply multiply the amps times the volts and that will give you your true number so my true number was this one right here 3049.2 so 3049 hive os was reporting 3042 so we're talking about seven watts difference so yes it is different. I give it to everybody out there who's saying, you know, ah, you see, but realistically, when you're talking about that seven Watts, um, of course it is, you know, translated into money. But when you're also talking about 3000, uh, compared to seven, it doesn't play as big of a role, uh, when you're talking about how much money you're spending. So, uh, Hive OS for me is reporting pretty strong. Now I do use the, uh, uh HP server power supplies in there. Uh, I've got a couple of them. Let's see. Uh, this one is a 750 watt that I use. Um, I've got, uh, I don't really use a 750 watt now. I have the uh, 1200, which I have several up here on the shelf, some backups. As a matter of fact, one of my breakout boards the other day went out. So I'm going to do a little video on that one next and how that uh, went down. So, but anyway, I use these power supplies and I use the breakout boards uh, that I get from Parallel Miner. I'm not supported uh, by them, not affiliated or anything like that. Just they got great stuff. So uh, the breakout board that I use and that uh, I could plug uh, the ATX so this can go right to the motherboard and power the GPUs and simply just, you know, connects in. Now you have to make sure you have the right model with the right power supply because they are different. Some support it, some don't. So just be careful when you buy things like this that they are supported. You got to look those up. And on um, uh, uh, Parallel Miner, they do have, uh, when you look at the different breakout boards, uh, or power supplies it'll tell you which one is compatible with which so make sure you check those out but anyway i use these and maybe that's why i get a better uh, reading on my power than say using the traditional you know atx power supply uh, maybe that one's fluctuating more i haven't used one of those in a long while i prefer these they give me you know all the power i could possibly want i never have to question my power so anyway this is what i'm running if i go over to what to mine and we put in here uh, that we're running our uh, 32. So um, let's see, let's bring that up over here. And we're gonna go on this one. So what was I, I'm at, I'm at uh, 1,020. Oops. And then my power, let's put in exactly what I'm doing here. I'm doing uh, 3049. Dot two. I don't know if it does dot two in there, so I'm not going to do that. But let's just uh, let's calculate that out, and there you go. So that's what it's pulling right now. So let's do the math on that one real quick. So 23 minus the uh, so seven dollars thirty one cents. So now let's go ahead and check out that calculator I was talking about. So that's what I uh, that's what I got there, 731 a day in power. So let's go ahead and come over to here, and I'll have a link uh, in the description below to any of the websites that I use today. Uh, but again, this is just some random. I've been, just been using this one. It seems to be uh, you know accurate for what I'm doing. So uh, when you choose appliance, you just choose other because we're going to put in our own amount and uh, for our watts. Let's go ahead. What do we say we had on there exactly? Uh, 3049. So 49 and usage. Uh, we're doing 24 hours a day. Uh, we're also at 10 cents here. So let's go ahead and calculate that out. And let's bring that over. So this is what I am uh, cost per month. So this is what it is per day. So let's multiply that out. I don't know if they're doing 30 or 31 on this, but let's just do 30 and see. So 219 and 30 cents and 219 and 53 cents. So uh, 23 cents difference, but 
uh, virtually, you know, right on the money for it. So uh, that's why I like this site. It seems to be pretty tight. So about 220 bucks a month in electric to run these. Um, you know, right now Ethereum is down 1822. Uh, you know, the other day it was down a little bit further, but you know, uh, just the other week, 1776, uh, you know, down there, what was that bottom? 1774. Getting a little nervous down there, you know. <laughs> it was nice to see it come back up. We did have a little bit of a drop off, but um, you know, let's uh, let's just keep hoping for the best. Looks like the merge is pushed out a couple more months, so we've got a little bit more time. I know, probably about a year ago this time, I was putting a video out saying probably the same thing. It's going to be in another two or three months, and here we are again. Uh, you know, I was almost positive they would definitely have it out by January, uh, but here we are. So anyway. Um, you know that's it so what to mine uh and uh hive os um, my electricity looks like it's running pretty pretty decent looks like it's pretty tight and the big thing about this video and the takeaway for me is that hive does give me a very accurate count of what my power is uh within a few watts difference and again that's not the end of the world a couple watts difference is not going to be that much money um what would uh what would, what I, I don't even remember what I said it was before. Uh, let's just say six watts. You know, calculate. What does that cost me extra a month? 43 cents. All right. So I'm off by 43 cents. About. I don't remember what I said it was exactly. But anyway, you get the point. So um, there you go. Maybe it's the ATX power supply. Maybe it's just these HP reporting better. But these seem to report pretty tight. So. I, like I said, I'll have links in the description below. I'll throw it on there for Parallel Miner. Like I said, I don't have any affiliate links or anything like that with them, but they do have some really great stuff. Just be sure that the parts that you're buying are the right parts. And you can email them. They usually get back within a day, two days tops, usually within that day. And they're super helpful. You know, I should be uh, uh, a spokesperson. They are they are great. So anyway, thanks for checking in. I appreciate y'all watching that video up here. I don't know what I'm going to put up there, but I'll throw something up there for you. Of course, if you want to help the channel, hit the subscribe button. It's right over there. Thumbs up to me. Thumbs up to you. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you next time.